About 2,000 years ago, in the city of Nazareth in Judea, there lived a young and pious girl named Mary, who was engaged to be married to Joseph, a carpenter. One day, while deep in prayer, the angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, Do not be afraid. God is pleased with you. You will be with child by the Holy Spirit and give birth to a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. Some nights later, the angel visited Joseph in a dream and told him about Mary's child. The next morning, Joseph did as the angel asked and took Mary as his wife. At this time too, the Roman Emperor Augustus, who ruled over Judea, forced the people to pay taxes he ordered everyone to return to their hometown to register. Families packed up to leave. Joseph and Mary thus travelled from Nazareth to his hometown in Bethlehem. It was a long and slow journey because Mary's baby was almost due. When they arrived in Bethlehem, tired and sorely in need of rest, they could not find any rooms. All the inns were full. Crowds were lining up to register their names. Joseph knocked on so many doors until finally an old man said, Take this stick, Joseph, and walk thee to the barn. It was here in the barn that Jesus was born on that very night. In the fields outside town, Angels came out and greeted the shepherds and told them about Jesus. They all flocked to see the newborn king. And far away in the sky, a star shone brightly. Three wise men from the east, who knew the meaning, followed it, bringing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Jesus Christ, the Saviour, was born on a cold winter's day, and every 25th December, Christian celebrates Christmas with gifts for family and friends. In modern times, Father Christmas or Saint Nicholas, the patron saint of children, has become an integral part of gift giving. The story goes that every Christmas Eve, Father Christmas or Sinterklaas, as he is known in Holland, will ride on his sleigh of reindeers and slide down chimneys to bring presents to children who have been good throughout the year. Sometimes, on the coldest of wintry nights, you might see him parked outside your home with his reindeers and sleigh, because you have been good. Merry Christmas, everyone!